I'm not interrupting anything. I just came to pick up the rest of my things. How's your uh, new apartment? Uh, it's small, but it's great. I'm sure you guys will be so glad to have me out of here. Not at all. Your stuff's in the back closet. Great, got it. All right, babe. I will probably... What's going on with your mother? I forgot how thin these walls are. Well, all I heard Randy say was that she'd pray for your mom. I don't need you broadcasting that. No, no. You don't have to tell me anything, Frankie, but just know that I care about Angie and you. Okay, if you need a friend, you've got one. This is uh, gonna be a weird question, but uh, do you ever talk to yourself? Oh, every time I stick my foot in my mouth, which is about 10 times a day. Usually something along the lines of, God, Madison, must you always be so awkward? <laughs> so no full-blown conversations? Not yet, but I wouldn't rule it out. Why? Well, the other day I was sitting here polishing off some leftover pizza. That's where that went. I had a massive pepperoni craving at 3 a.m. and got up to check the fridge, nothing. Yeah, well, you snooze, you lose. Yeah, I guess so, because I got stuck with some baby carrots. Ugh. Yeah, it's probably healthier, but uh, I was sitting here eating, and I realized for a solid 10 minutes I've been going back and forth with myself about what happened to my mother. I stopped and I thought, why am I doing this? Is it because I don't have anybody to talk to? Well, what about that sweet, gorgeous woman that just walked out of here? Yeah, Randy's great, but she has a big modeling gig. Her career's taking off, and she loves it. Being the face of Fusion is a huge dream for her. It wouldn't be fair for me to dump my problems on her now. All she'd want to do is scale back and stay home with me. So you're talking to yourself over some cold pizza? Could be worse. Could be talking a little green minute up. I changed my mind. I do want to stick my nose into your business. Tell me what's going on. My mom's going blind. And there's nothing I can do about it. That's the choice she has to make. Save her sight and possibly harm the baby or risk going blind and protect the baby. You can't tell my mom I told you this. I won't. You can't say a word to anyone. I promise. And thank you, Frankie, for trusting me. You know, my dad was never around when I was growing up. My mom did it all. She taught me how to throw a curveball, how to drive. She even gave me the talk. Impressive. My mm. mother was always too busy lunching to talk to me about anything. When I was in the ninth grade, I went out for the basketball team at school. I made starting point guard. <laughs> no matter how busy she was, my mom made it to every single game. One time, I hit a buzzer beater to send us into the finals. I never heard a human being cheer so loud. <laughs> she must have been so proud. Yeah. She said that that was what being a parent was all about, witnessing those moments, being there to see your child shine. And now she's having another child, and all of those moments could be lost to her. Last box. Anything? Nothing yet, but I'm taking that as a positive sign. You know, I've met a lot of strong women in this town. I think Angie might just be the strongest. Whatever happens, she's going to be all right. Hey, I want you to make me a promise. Well, two, actually. That's asking a lot, but okay. First, you will buy me a pie from Bruno's to make up for those carrots that I ate. Pepperoni and pineapple. Ooh, adventurous. I like that. Mm. And second, just stop talking to yourself, okay? You have me. And you have an apartment to move into. So exciting, right? My very own place. I mean, it's the size of a postage stamp, but it's my postage stamp. Yes, and I will be expecting an invitation soon. Definitely. The first one has to go to Ryan, of course. He's getting out of the hospital tomorrow. I have a lot to do, actually. Well, I'll let you get to it. Not so fast. You get one of these first. <laughs> oh, hey, Natalia. What's up? Uh, <clears throat> nothing. Just up a show. I 
was just leaving. Moving out? All good things must come to an end. I'm sure Frankie's gonna be psyched that I'm not crashing on the couch anymore. Hey, thank Randy for me again, okay? And I'll be waiting for that pizza. Yes. 